So you eat right, hit the gym every day, and run 10 miles a week. Think you're healthy? Not unless you know your numbers. I'm talking about your blood pressure numbers. And that's why the Army National Guard launched a new program to target guardsmen with undiagnosed or uncontrolled blood pressure. Our medical editor, Dr. Paul Little, is here with the details. Doc? Steve, you're absolutely right. 80 million Americans, that's one in every three people, have high blood pressure, and many don't even know they've got it. That's why they call this enemy the silent killer. And the Army National Guard just declared war. It was September 2005. National Guard Major Warren Harvey had just returned from Iraq when his unit got called up again for Hurricane Katrina. At Little Rock Air Force Base, he had to go in on sick call one day for a bad tooth. The first thing that they did was they took my blood pressure. And they took it twice, and they said, it's a little high. How old are you, about 26? And I said, no, I'm 40. They took it a third time and said, you need to see a general physician. His blood pressure was 150 over 110, in the red zone, according to the American Heart Association, and he had no symptoms at all. That's one reason the Army National Guard partnered with the American Heart Association to launch one of the most aggressive preventive medicine programs in its history. One of the things the National Guard is doing is putting blood pressure kiosks in armories around the country. And guards people, their family members, anyone can take their blood pressure. Every guardsman will now have their blood pressure checked at drills at least once a year. Since high blood pressure is a silent, deadly threat to all Americans, we hope to improve the lives of our soldiers and their families, as well as improve the medical readiness of the Army National Guard. The Guard is used to defending us from both the enemies we can see and the enemies that we can't see. High blood pressure is really the preeminent silent killer, the hidden enemy that we need to defeat. Major Harvey says that's something he can live with. The bottom line is this is something that's preventable. Every soldier needs to have it checked out. If it's identified, it can be treated. You might have to modify your diet, make sure that you're getting good rest, good exercise. Now, if you want to know more about the Guard's Get Cuff program, they've got a neat site at decadeofhealth.com. There's plenty of information there, heart-healthy diets, a heart checkup survey, and links to the American Heart Association.